threats at local schools, acts of violence, and deadly school shootings occurring across the nation. While Congress debates gun reform and whether or not to arm teachers, what's being done locally to boost school safety? Guam Police Department Chief Stephen Ignacio says his officers have been meeting regularly with the Guam Department of Education, Deputy Superintendent, and school safety faculty. All of our precincts have gone out and met with uh with the school officials and what we do is we have uh, a layout of the campus uh, readily available at the police precincts for our dispatchers. Should a call come down for an active shooter or some kind of threat to the school, you know, uh, the officers can be directed by the uh, precinct desk watch officers. He says understanding the layout of the campus is crucial when schools need boots on the ground. While the Tumaning Private School has their own immediate first responders, G4S security, GDOE schools haven't had school resource officers since the judiciary pulled the plug over three years ago. When the judiciary pulled out of the SRO program, we were in discussion to uh, fill that gap. Uh, unfortunately, those discussions uh, haven't uh, materialized yet. Uh, we are looking at some federal grants maybe. GPD looking at federal funding to establish an SRO program, but he says first he needs a superintendent's approval that this is something GDOE wants. I have to make sure that uh, the school resource officer program or the SRO program is something that the Department of Education is uh, willing to accept uh, because I just can't plan for an SRO program because I, I don't have any control over the, the Department of Education and their schools. But he says it's a discussion that's going to have to wait until GDOE gets their new superintendent come July.